What's up, dude? Oh, nothing much. What? Oh, you, uh, you hidden calves. Yeah, man, I gotta make those grow, you know. I make them priority. Yeah. How about you, man? What are you working? Uh, uh, biceps. Working biceps. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. shit, man. You're always wearing pants. You gotta work some calves. Let me see those puppies. No, no. Like, let's, let's compare calves. No, no, I'm yeah, good, look, man. I, I have, I like literally have nothing on it. No, come on, man. I won't laugh. You gotta, you gotta show them off every once in a while, you know. Let's see them. You promise you won't laugh? I promise, yeah. Okay. Here's my calves. <laughs> Top five mistakes to avoid when training calves. The first mistake on our list should be a no-brainer. It's not working calves. That sounds really silly and you might be going, well, no shit. But really, when you look at a lot of people in the gym, specifically men, you'll see they do all the more vein body parts, chest, biceps, all that good stuff, the stuff that they can see. But calves, seeing as a lot of times, it's not exactly a visual muscle, at least for you, you kind of neglect it, and it's not a lot of fun to work, for most people anyways. So they'll do everything else, they'll start building everything up, and they'll go, well, what about my calves? But when you really step back and look at it, you never even work the damn things. So try and hit them at least once a week. Don't just tack them on at the end of the workout. If they're a lagging body part, really focus on those things. This is an easy mistake, but damn, there's a lot of people that make this one. Mistake number two, the bouncer. It's the guy, he sits down in the cast raising machine, he loads up four to five plates on each side, thinking to yourself, damn, that guy must have some giant calves. All of a sudden you start seeing him perform the exercise and he just bounces the weight, use the momentum, gravity, not even really getting a true contraction in the calves. That's horrible, horrible form. He's not gonna get the full benefit of the exercise. So two things you wanna keep in mind when you're doing this exercise dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Now plantar flexion, just imagine you're taking a seed, planting it in the ground, you're pushing the balls of your feet firmly into the pad itself. And dorsiflexion is thinking of a dorsal fin, like a dolphin or a shark. So that's when your heels come down and your toes are pointed up in the air. So those two movements really consist of working the calves. Those are the main movements there. So what you wanna do is get under that weight, you wanna plantar flexion, pushing those balls of the feet into the pad there and raising the heels all the way up, squeezing, in the calf muscle, getting the full contraction, and then slowly let it down into the dorsiflexion with the heel all the way down, getting that full stretch at the bottom position. If you do this in a nice, slow, controlled manner with the concentric contraction on the way up, nice, slow, eccentric contraction, negative on the way down, getting the full stretch, that's when you're gonna have those calves grow. So next time you sit in that calf machine, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, and don't pounce. Mistake number three on our list is gonna be not making calves a priority. And this one goes right alongside mistake number one, which was not working calves at all. It's a little bit of an upgrade. You're almost there, but you're not quite there yet. You'll see a lot of people, they'll hit it hard, shoulders, chest, abs, all that good stuff. And then they'll say, hey, I did work calves too, but when you really step back and look at it, they maybe did a set, maybe a few reps on calves at the end of a leg workout, let's say, and then it's good enough for them. The only problem is cut to a few months down the road, they're looking back going, why is everything looking good except my calves? Well, that's because you didn't really focus a lot on the calves themselves. So make them a priority. Try and put together a plan, and if the calves are a lagging body part, use the priority training principle. That's putting the calves first. So work them out multiple times a week. Give them at least 48 hours of rest in between, but hit those things and hit them hard. They're not gonna grow unless you invest in them. So start investing in those calves now. Mistake number four, blaming genetics. Now it's a common excuse. Hey, I'm not gonna work them, I have bad genetics, or they're not growing, I must have bad genetics. So I'm just gonna give up. No point in doing them, right? Well, that shouldn't be the case because you look at someone, let's say Arno, for example, which is a perfect example because in his earlier days, he had no calves, especially in comparison to his arms. His arms were 21, 22 inches. And in comparison, his calves, well, there was no comparison. In fact, he would hide them in photos at a young age because he was so embarrassed about them. And so when you're talking about genetics, 
he really didn't have genetics for calves, but he put in the hours, thousands of hours in fact, to prioritize his training to build his calves. And what happened? He had some of the best calves, well, especially for back then, and very aesthetically pleasing too, because they ended up catching up with his arms. So when you're thinking about calf ratio to arm ratio, they should measure about the same. So don't use genetics as an excuse. Throw those excuses out the window. Take old John J. Rambo's advice. Bad genetics? What do you say, John? Fuck him. Mistake number five on our list is becoming the perma pants dude. We've all seen them, and I don't want you to become that dude. Not this year. It's time for a little bit of calf therapy. Because you may be thinking, hey, I'll just wear pants, then I don't gotta work calves, and then no one will ever see my calves. Problem solved, right? Well, that's wrong. Because one day, you're gonna have to show a little bit of skin. And beyond just the visual aspect, you gotta think of the aesthetics as well. You're building a solid physique, and if it's all up here and nothing down there, where's your foundation? Your house of cards is gonna fall down in a big way. So you gotta develop those calves in order to keep up with the rest of your body. You're gonna thank yourself for it, believe me. There you go dudes and girls, the five top mistakes to avoid when training calves. The list may have seemed simple, but damn it, working calves at the end of the day is simple. They're there, they're just waiting for you to find them. So get in the gym, hit those calves, stay consistent, and until next time, you know what to do, stay buff. Yeah.